Put your faith in the light. Hello guys, welcome to another one of my videos. This is Lively. I'm well, guys, in this one we are going to be talking about what's happening this week in Mythic Plus Dungeons. And we are also going to be doing my box opening. So first off, let's talk about affixes. This week is Fortified, Bolstering, and Entangling. So this week is pretty chill. Fortified is a lot better that for us than it is Tyrannical because we do a lot of AoE and not that much single target damage. For Entangling and Bolstering, Entangling is basically on, on affix for Retribution Paladins because we have less enough freedom, you know. And we can even put it on a second person in the group with Unbound Freedom. If you choose to use Unbound Freedom, there's two ways of using this. Uh, the first, There's two macros that I normally use to do it. The first one is this one that puts less enough freedom automatically on the leader of the group, which I recommend making the tank hit. Uh, because well the tank doesn't really want to move when they're grouping up mobs you know they want to pick make make them like very tight so you can aoe them down easier so it's better to just put the freedom on them so they don't have to move out of the circle when they're grouping up mobs the second way you can put them on someone is using this other macro that i have here is mouse over macro this is a lot more flexible because you can just put it on whoever you want it's not always going to be going on the leader of the group and, you know, you can put it on a caster that maybe doesn't want to move or something like that. It's very chill and the, both of them will be in the description of the video. And just so you guys can see it, I'm going to mouse over this priest. And I just put freedom on them, you know, just mouse over in them. It's pretty chill, pretty easy to use. Now, the next affix. So, bolstering. Bolstering isn't as punishing as it was in previous iterations, but it's still annoying in certain places. For example, in Moors and Strides, uh, whenever you're finding that first platform of mobs, th there's a lot of mini bosses there. So, these, these things are just gonna get like bolstered always. So, just be careful with that and uh, prepare some defensives to survive. Especially this maiden, that if it gets bolstered, it, she does a very nasty AoE damage. So, prepare for that and so you can survive till the bolstering stacks like run off okay so for other things uh, other advice on bolstering always be looking at those casters especially the ones that like do want like to do like random bolts on people if you leave those casters up until the end of the pack they will kill you even if you have like a sanctified place or avoidance uh, bolstering bolts are going to murder you because those are not mitigated by anything of our defensive kit you know all the other defensives you know divine protection or shield vengeance but try to focus down casters because those are going to be the source of death in your group if they get bolstered okay so now let's go and let's go open my box so this week we have a full row of heroic boxes i think uh, oh, we have one mythic box that we can also open so two heroic boxes one mythic box and we also have a full row of mythic list stuff so let's check if we are in retribution we are okay so what do we want from this box basically i'm looking for mythic track gear and um maybe one of those rare trinkets you know the the firak trinket which is really, really powerful. Or maybe I want to get um, the one from Smolderon, you know, the brand or the unused two minute cooldown trinket. That would be awesome this week because uh, it gives you so much burst up front and it's really good to deal with some of the dangerous packs and fortified keys. So let's go in and open the box and see what we got. Okay, give me something good, you know. I don't want to get a weapon because uh, I'm rooting for getting the. Uh, legendary weapon you know oh we got some good stuff we got we got a mythic coiled serpent idol so i don't like this trinket yeah i don't really like it it's it's pretty decent but i, I just don't don't like this trinket i think it seems a bit better than the ashes of ember soul but ashes is just such a good trinket it's just so much damage like up front and i really like to use like um unused trinkets for my burst you know it gives you so much strength and also this week, since there's bolstering, there's things that are, that are going to chunk me down to low health. So maybe I can use the, the second effect, you know, the when circumstances are dire. On the on the mythic track here, uh, we do have hands. We could upgrade these to for tier set, you know, just mythic tier. We also have crab. Crab is such a good trinket as well, man. You got so many good options. This thing has a socket. Uh, I think the correct answer here is going to be Ashes of Ember Soul. It's a pretty hard trinket to get, you know. It doesn't drop pretty often. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. So, I'm going to go to tonight to Heroic. If Ashes drops and I win it, 
I can pick something else. But if it doesn't drop, I'm going to pick Ashes of Ember. So the thing is just really strong. It gives me a massive amount of burst for this fortified week. It's just really ideal. So yeah, that's going to be the plan today. And well, guys, that's going to be all the video for today. So I've been climbing pretty steady on the IO score ladder. I'm at 3167. Uh, so this week, the goal is to reach at least 3250. For that, we need to do, I think, around 326s and the rest of my keys on 25-ish. You know, I, I hope we can do the easy 26s, you know, like Galakron's Fall, Black Rook Hold, and Dark Heart Ticket should be pretty chill this week. Uh, the tyrannical week was a bit annoying because, you know, single target of Red Palace. It's not incredible. It's just decent, but it's nothing like to write home about. Anyways, like I said, the goal this week is 3250. I'll be streaming most of my keys. Uh, I do not have a set schedule, but most of my streams happen at around 8 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesdays, Fridays, or the weekend, you know, most, most of the time the weekend. And uh, the streams are pretty fun, so just come and watch. I try to be as informative as I can when I'm doing them. So yeah, we have a, we have a great time doing the streams. And well, guys, if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the videos. Thanks for watching, everyone.